All right, hey, he's Mega here, and another show and tell video for another dress up part for my Honda Super Cub. All right, yeah, it's, uh, I've had it for quite a while, and I've put it to work a whole lot, and I wanted to get some dress up parts for it. All right, okay, yeah, it's a it's a trim ring or, or or the right side cover ring is what it's called. All right, and it's anodized red, and it says Kitako here. All right, I think it would look great. The one on the bike is kind of like a chrome color. All right, so, um, and, and basically it, all this really is, is like, I guess it's like a case guard too, all right? But uh, we'll go ahead and install it. This was $75 from Steady Garage. It's red, so it'll make your Super Cub three times faster. <laughs> all right, if you know, if you know uh, what, that in, that, what that's in reference to, type it down in the comments, all right? <laughs> three, red makes it three times as fast, right? <laughs> all right. Here we go. Let's let's take a closer look at this guy. Okay, so let's take a look at this Japanese Super Cub parts. All right, it's made by Kitako in Japan. Apparently, you could install it on a Monkey One Two Five or a C One Two Five. All right, a Super Cub C One Two Five. And there it is, Kitako Racing Company. Um, what else? That's it. All right, so. Uh, this goes on the right side where the clutch cover is, okay? Okay. Let's move the backing. It's got a foam here. Alright, it comes with an instruction manual. So I know about these Kotaku parts. A lot of parts from Japan always come with manuals, so I like that. Okay, it looks like it's pretty simple to install. Um, you, it's uh, you use a uh, 10 newton meters to torque the bolts. All right, it comes with bolts also. So basically, you'll take the old one out and put this put this cover in there. It looks like this one is smaller than the one that's on the bike right now. But there's this ring right here. All right, that you put on the base. All right, and then there's some extra bolts they give you. I mean, not extra bolts. I guess these are the bolts that you have to use. All right, since it's thinner now, I guess, you have to use smaller bolts. Okay, there's this. And then the actual ring itself. Ooh, it's, it's, it's a meaty piece of aluminum, that's for sure. All right, it says Kitako on it. And it's anodized red. Beautiful. Beautiful part. Interesting thing to note is that this was 6,500 yen in Japan, all right? So the, um, the Japanese yen is not uh is not very strong right now compared to the dollar so this is more like a 50 dollar part so once it got to me it's like 75 dollars already so <laughs> okay so in my opinion it should be less all right but yeah but that they had they still have to imp uh steady garage still have to import it all right let's go install this okay it'll be installed on the right side all right the clutch side cover all right and then it's these three bolts right here you'll still see have the little honda logo there so it'll still be rad <laughs> so we'll see okay so i think it's a five millimeter there you go i'm using a kind of long one it's not very hard to take out okay let's take these three bolts out make sure it doesn't fall down Oh, they're pretty. They are pretty long. <laughs> oh, I see. This one doesn't stick out as much. You know what? This is plastic. Yeah, this is plastic. <laughs> I thought it was made out of chrome. It's just a plastic ring, guys. <laughs> I always thought this was cr uh, like a chrome plate all the time, but it's just a plastic trim. Well, that's pretty cool though. I have to say, uh, it looks nice. <laughs> no complaints about that. But I didn't know it was plastic. <laughs> I thought the thing was like a legit like chunk of metal. So one thing to note is that yeah, this is going to be a lot heavier than that. All right, yeah, this is a little heavier, but. It's cool. Okay, so you're gonna have to put this trim ring here, all right? It's gonna be like that, 
all right and then this is going to be on top of that so it'll be kind of like a little bit two-tone if you look at the side right. okay i opened the packet get your pack the packet of bolts ready it's uh three bolts and three washers all right that you're gonna have to install. aha so i know what this ring is for this ring is a spacer for it so it sticks out a little more so it clears this part of the case cover, all right? All this is all only a decoration. That's all it really is, all right? So, okay. Okay. So before I install it, I'm going to put some uh, lo uh, Loctite on the bolts, so these don't come off or vibrate loose, because you know this Super Cub likes to vibrate a whole lot. Let's put some on the tips. That should help keep it from backing out. Like not not that we had problems with the other one backing out. Just just saying. <laughs> it's a good idea. Okay, and then I'll just line everything up. If I were you, I would just drop the washers in there already. Oh wait, hold on. Let's okay. Look. So uh I looked at the manual and what you're supposed to do is the wa the the washers go between the two the plates, alright? Between the two plates. So I'm going to put the bolts first, all right? Like this, like this, and like this. Okay, now this is kind of a pain in the ass to install, I'm not going to lie. All right, and I'm going to flip it over without, hopefully, hold the bolts in place, all right? Oops. Okay, like that. Put the washers in. I'm going to put a little more Loctite because it looks like some of it's kind of already come off. Okay, just on the tips. Alright, and then we're going to put this guy. If I, now, remember where the Kitako logo... Oh, that was fell out. Alright, the Kitako logo is right there. So, you want to make sure this cutout is to the right. Alright. So... So yeah, she go like this. Let me put it upside down again. Oh, one of the washers fell out already. Yeah, this is kind of a pain in the ass to install. Is it like that? Yeah. Okay, and that should keep the washers in place too. Oh, I installed it wrong. Oh no! I hope you got it right this time, Ron. No, you got it wrong again. <laughs> yeah, rotate it one more time. I'll get it right eventually. Okay, I think I got it this time. Cool. Alright, now we're gonna go install it. It's this kind of weird sandwich dealy. But once you have everything together, it won't fall apart. Alright, and we'll just install it. The good thing is the ring keeps it from falling apart. It's a little smaller than the other one. Nug it a little bit first. Okay, the torque is 10 newton meters. I got my torque wrench set for 10 newton meters. Yep. Okay. Torque it to 10 newton meters. Hope you don't bust those threads, man. One, two, three. Okay, go one more time. One, two, and three. Okay, there it is. It's installed. It definitely looks a lot different. I kind of, kind of like the old trim ring better, but, but definitely it's uh. It definitely pops out a lot more with that red. I like it.
Okay. I can't help but think it looks it looks much much different than this though. <laughs> all right. Well, I think it looks rad. All right. Let's take let's get a view of it from different angles. All right, there it is. It looks sweet. Seventy five bucks. <laughs> Okay, there it is. That's what it looks like from the side. Pretty nice. I like it. It adds a little more red to that bike. Pops out really good compared to what it was before, right? I didn't know this was plastic, so... Yeah, here it is from different angles. It's kind of weird. It kind of looks like it doesn't belong there. <laughs> sort of, I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks like a heat sink is what it looks like. It, that might very well be what it acts like, you know. It's a heat sink. Alright, it's pretty secure. There's a little gap here. There's a gap here too. Pretty rad. Okay, there it is. That is the Kitako uh, clutch side cover or the uh, trim uh, trim ring, alright, for the uh, right side engine cover uh, for the Honda Super Cub C125 and apparently a Honda Monkey also, so. But uh, but there you go. I think that looks great, man. It really, it really sticks out. It, it matches the red with the, uh, on the bike already. So awesome. All right, and it, it's a legit like aluminum part now. <laughs> okay, that that plastic stuff right there. I didn't know that was plastic. Honda did a good job with that because it, it looks like chrome. <laughs> so I say. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope that was an entertaining video. That's the Kitako uh, trim ring for the right side cover. You can get it for $75 at Steady Garage, all right? Thanks for watching. Here's what we got.